सो फ्रेंड्स हियर इज ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम अ स्टूडेंट संघर्ष भारद्वाज एंड द क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग बीटा डीके एंड आई स्किप सम ऑफ सम पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड द क्वेश्चन मेन क्वेश्चन इज इन बीटा प्लस डीके ए प्रोटोन कन्वर्ट्स इट सेल्फ इन टू ए न्यूट्रॉन अलॉन्ग विथ अ पॉजिट्रॉन एंड न्यूट्रीनो बट सर प्रोटोन इज लाइटर पार्टिकल how it is converting into heavier particle that is neutron etc etc so that's the basic question so let me try to answer that now a free proton will not decay into neutron as uh, as he says the proton is lighter and neutron is heavier so the proton does not have a capacity to decay into neutron but if the proton is part of a nucleus then the situation is different now the basic point is once you have a nucleus the protons and neutrons interact with each other and there is an energy you have rest mass energy of protons you have rest mass energy of neutrons but once you make a nucleus together with that you also have energy due to the interactions between neutrons and protons and that is why you have a total rest mass energy of a nucleus less than the sum of the rest masses rest mass energies of all the protons taken separately and all the neutrons taken separately so if i draw a diagram it will be something like this you have a nucleus which has z protons z protons let us say p p p p p p z protons and then n neutrons you have neutrons you have neutrons and n neutrons and then you have certain energy which is less than which is less than the rest mass energy is of all the protons separately and all the neutrons separately and minus e1 what i am writing here i am writing here just just mass energy of a free proton plus this free neutron plus this free neutron if they are free if they are not part of the nucleus then uh, each proton will have certain rest mass energy each neutron will have certain rest mass energy and then you can add them to get what is the total rest mass energy if all the protons and all the neutrons are free but then uh, to make them free you have to supply energy you have to break the nucleus when you apply certain energy only then these will become free and therefore uh, that energy that you have to supply <laughs> so if the actual energy of this nucleus when it is at rest is some of the free rest masses energies of protons and neutrons minus now if you have another nucleus in which one proton is converted into neutron and therefore the number z has gone down so let me count 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 i'll only draw five it's not that i'm talking of a nucleus with five protons or six neutrons there are many many neutrons many many protons whatever with the number one less and neutron one more okay so here the rest mass energy is now say e not this free electron free protons and free neutrons if you consider all the free neutrons all the free protons and add we have z minus one proton one proton has converted into neutron so this is larger this is if you compare this and this if you compare this and this here we have z protons and n neutrons and here we have z plus one protons and n z minus one protons and n plus one neutrons okay so one proton has converted into a neutron so this mass is more and this mass is less but now it is a different nucleus and the interactions between protons and neutrons are different so it's a different nucleus and therefore this e1 will be different 
and you don't know what it is that will depend case to case whether this e1 is greater than a2 or e2 is greater than e1 that will depend case to case so the nuclei which decay through beta plus decay channel that process for them although this has increased this has increased the proton has converted into heavier particle which is neutron so this has increased but this has decreased more than that okay so if you compare this e1 and e2 then uh, for some of the nuclei all nuclei will not do that all nuclei do not decay through beta plus decay okay so for some of the nuclei depending on what that z is what that n is it is possible if it is possible that this e2 here is more than this e1 so it is decreased this part is increased this part is decreased and if the decrease is more than increase so if this thing is greater than this yes it's possible and then the difference will come out as a, when this uh, beta plus particle beta plus decays right like proton decays and then you have a positron and a neutrino so those particles will will move and this nucleus will recoil on that kinetic energy will come from this difference so that is how beta plus decay takes place